We're going to look at uh, solving uh, linear systems here, page uh, 41, topic 9. And what we're going to do is, first of all, explain what we mean by solving a system of two linear equations. So we're going to explain that. Then we're going to take an example where we have two linear systems, two linear equations equations of the straight line. And one of the ways that we're going to solve it is just by drawing the graph. So we're going to look at the graphical solution and just draw the graphs. And then we're going to go into um, solutions where essentially we don't need to draw any graphs, but we can do it using algebra. So the two methods are the substitution method and the elimination method. Now one thing we have to be careful about is if the systems have, uh, if we have two equations which are parallel, two linear equations which are parallel, they're never going to intersect. So they, if they don't intersect, they don't have a, a solution. So let's start off by looking at what we mean. When we have two linear equations, um, and we're asked to find the solution of a system of two linear equations. What we're really looking is the point of uh, the point at which they intersect. If the lines are not parallel. They are going to intersect at some point. So the lines are not parallel. They are going to intersect at some point, and we want to find that point of intersection. And we have two options. We can do it graphically, in other words, uh, drawing the graphs for each of these lines and looking where they intersect. Or we can do a non-graphical or uh, algebraic uh, solution. So first of all, let's look at the, um, we're going to look at the graphical uh, method of how we do this. And what we have is we have um, the two lines, y in this. We're always dealing with the same problem in this uh, case. We're going to have y equals minus 2x plus 5, and we're going to have y equals 2x minus 3. Go back to the previous page right here. We have y equal 2x minus 3 and y equal minus 2x plus 5. So we're going to look for the solution of that, where the point of intersection. So if we wanted to do that graphically, what we would do is find the x and y intercepts for the line y equals minus 2x plus 5. So first of all, we would set x to 0. And when we set x to 0, y would be 5. And when we set y to 0, then x will work out to be uh, 2 and a half or 5 halves. So here are the two, here are the x and the y uh, intercepts. Now, we then connect these two points. So we look over here, although it's not drawn in the actual case, we have the points 0, 5 right here, okay, which is the y-intercept. And then we have the point 5 halves comma 0, 2 and a half comma 0, which is this point right here, okay, and then we connect those two points. And that gives us the line for the equation y equals minus 2x plus 5. So now we go to the other equation for the line y equals 2x minus 3. And we set x equal to 0. Set x equal to 0. y is minus 3. And if we set y to uh, 0, excuse me, let me go back over that again. If we set x equal to 0, y is minus 3. If we set y to 0, which is right here, then x is 1 and a half. If we solve 0 equals 2x minus 3, 2x equals 3, x equals 3 over 2, which is right here. So we now draw the line connecting those two points. So we have 
0 comma minus 3 right here. This is the y-intercept. And the x-intercept is this right here at this point, and that's 3 halves comma 0. So we connect those two, and we get this line. And although if we had graph paper, we would actually be able to see the point of intersection. It happens that the point of intersection is 2 comma 1. Now it's hard to see that that's from this just paper because it's not really graph paper. But if you drew it on graph paper and there were lines shown, you would see that the point of intersection would be where x equals 2 and y equals 1. Now what this means is that this point of intersection, the solution, this is the solution because it fits on this line here and it fits on that line. It's the point of intersection. The point of intersection or the solution of the system is the point which lies on both lines. So that's the key to this uh, particular uh, problem. That's what we're looking for. And when we say we're looking for the solution, okay, the solution of a system, we're looking for the point of intersection. And what we've done is shown how we would get that uh, graphically. So summarize the point 2 comma 1 lies on both the lines. When we substitute x equal to 2 into this equation, we'll get y equals 1. And when we substitute x equal to 2 in this equation, we'll also get y equal to 1. And that illustrates that the point 2 comma 1 lies on both lines. Now, if we use Desmos, you can go to www wdesmos.com, click on the calculator, and you we enter these equations here. We get these two lines, they're color-coded. So here we see the equation of the line y equals minus 2x plus 5, that's the black line. And the line for y equals 2x minus 3 is this orange one. If we click on points of interest and projector mode and then click on the actual points themselves, just click on them, we get these numbers. And the, but there's a bit of a problem here. You can see here we can't really see the point of intersection because the way the program is set up, it sort of blocks it. So we're going to have to change the zoom level. But what do we see? Here is the y-intercept for y equals minus 2x5 is color-coded black. There's the x-intercept, which is 2 and a half comma 0 for this line. Now, for this line, here is the y-intercept. And this point represents by given by 1 and a half comma 0, although you can't see the 0 because it's blocked. These two numbers sort of fall together. But you can see very clearly that you have the um, x-intercept here and the y-intercept here. For this one, you have the x-intercept here, and then you have the, um, excuse me, the y-intercept here and the x-intercept here. So now, I change the zoom setting, and when you change the zoom setting, you can't see one of the intercepts up here, but you can clearly see the point of intersection, x equals 2, y equals 1. You can clearly see for this line here where the x-intercept uh, is and where the y-intercept is. And you can see the x-intercept for the y equals minus 2x plus 5. The only thing that's missing is this one here. So you can't see everything, but just by changing the zoom, you can get all the information. So this clearly shows, unlike our hand-drawn graph that we showed before, you see this graph over here, really it's pretty hard to, to, to know where that is, but on the Desmos graph you can just click on the point and it identifies the point 2 comma 1. Of course one could also just create a new expression and put uh, 2 comma 1 with square brackets around it in the third box and that point would lie here. So you can show it that way too, but um, this is a, obviously a, a better way. So that 
completes the graphical part. Now let's go to the algebraic part. And the first part of the algebraic solution means that we're not going to use any graphs at all here. We're going to use a substitution method. So here are our two equations. And in, we're just going to substitute for this y here. We're going to substitute 2x minus 3. OK, essentially, since this, since the y equals this, and since the y equals that, these two must be equal. So that's just another way of looking at it. So 2x minus 3 must equal minus 2x plus 5. So we've done that over here. If we bring the minus 2x from the left, uh, from the right to the left, it becomes 4x. 2x plus the 2x becomes 4x. We transpose the minus 3 from the left to the right. It becomes plus 3, and we get 5 plus 3 is 8. If 4x equals 8, x equals 2. Now we go back, and we substitute into the equation 2x plus 3. We substitute the value x equals 2. So we get 2 times 2 right here, minus 3, 4 minus 3 equals 1. Now, we could substitute into the other equation. If we substitute x equal to 2 into this one, we're going to get minus 4 plus 5. We'll still get y equals 1. So it doesn't matter whether we substitute into into which equation we substitute into. So I've got that right down here. Note that if we substitute x into 2 into the other equation, we get the same value. So that corroborates our, our way of uh, that we have the correct, uh, correct solution. Now, the other way of we're always dealing with these same two equations is an elimination method. And what this means is that we eliminate either uh, the uh, uh, x or y term. Now, you can see if I line these equations up, if I add y and y, I get 2y. And the plus 2x here is canceled by the minus 2x, gives me 0. So if I add this to this, I'm going to get 0. I'm not going to put 0 in here. And if I add 5 minus 3, I get 2 and I get y equal to 1. So I am eliminating the x. Note, by adding these two equations, the x term is eliminated. The plus 2x and the minus 2x term sum to 0. Now, you'd say, well, what if this, what if I can't eliminate? Number th these coefficients are not good to eliminate. Well, we're going to do problems where we have to multiply each equation by a certain term in order to uh, eliminate. So now I've got y equal to 1. I go back into the, this equation. I substitute 1 for y equals 2x minus 3. I bring uh, the minus 3 from the right to the left, add it to the 1, I get 4. 4 equals 2x, x equals 2. I get the same solution set. So whether I use um, the um, substitution method or whether I use the elimination method makes no difference, or even the graphical method. So what we've done here, let's just go back and review what we've done is we started with these two equations. We found there's three possible ways to eliminate, uh, to find the solution set. The solution set means that we're trying to find the point at which these two lines intersect. So here the two lines are drawn, and you can see the intersection is 2, 1. The algebraic solution, we looked at the substitution method where we substitute uh, for one of, the va one of the variables here. I know that y equals 2x plus 2x minus 3. And instead of writing y here, I write 2x minus 3 equals minus 2x plus 5. So I'm substituting for this y. And I come out with the same solution, x equals 2, y equals 1, which is what I got over here. 
on the elimination method, I eliminate the x variable and I find y and then I solve for y and substitute back into either equation, it doesn't matter which one, and I get x equals 2 and I get the same solution set. So here the solution set is 2, 1, here the solution set is 2, 1, and here the solution set is 2, 1.